Hello everyone, welcome to our Onka Learning YouTube channel. So in this tutorial, we are going to see installation of JDK, that is Java Development Kit. So for that, you need to open your web browser and you have to click download JDK. And you have to click on the first link, it is of Oracle. Uh, Oracle is an official website to download JDK. In our, this tutorial, we are going to download JDK 17. For that, you need to click on JDK 17. You have to scroll down and depending upon the uh, operating system you are using, you have to choose Linux, Mac, Windows. Here, I am using Windows operating system and uh, bits of operating system I am using is 64 bits. So, I will click on this link. You need to check the operating system and bits of your computer. For that you need to first go on this PC and here you need to right click and click on properties. Here you will be able to see that I am using Windows 10 operating system and here in system type you can see that 64 bit operating system I am using. So, so now you have to click on this link and you have to accept the license of Oracle. And I one thing I would like to mention here that uh, for downloading you need to first create Oracle account. Uh, if, if you don't have Oracle account then you need to create it and then sign, sign in into it. And you have to click on download and you can see that my download has been started. I'll just cancel it out because I've already downloaded. And just uh, if you have not, uh, means if you have not created Oracle account. Then after clicking on download button, it will get redirected to your uh, Oracle page in which you have to sign in or create your account. After signing in or creating your account, uh, the setup will get downloaded. Now you have to go to your uh, download section and you have to check. Here I have already downloaded, it is in my document folder. You have to just right click on this folder, then click on run as administrator option. Then you have to just click on yes, then next, next and here you need to have little bit more patience for next few more minutes. You can see here that it is taking lot longer than we thought. Now you can see that our installation is almost to get completed. Now you can see that our installation has been completed. Now you have to close. And now you have to go to command prompt and you have to just type java. And you will see that uh, java has been installed. If it is not installed, you will get some error message or it will say that unknown or uh, any command which is not present. So here to run our program first, we need, uh, we need to set up environment, our environment variable. For that you need to go to control panel. For that you need to go to control panel. Then you have to click on environment variable. Here you need to search env. Huh, here, here it is. Before that, we need to check uh, our where it where it has been installed. So for that, we need to go to this PC. Then I guess it is installed here. In C for in on C drive in Java folder, JDK 1.8 in bin folder. Here we have to click here and we have to copy this path. I'll just select it and I'll just copy it. And here you have to go to environment variable. Here you have to select path. You have to double click on it. Then you have to paste your folder here, uh, path here. 
and again you need to create one of folder for java here i'll just create one folder named as um, java pro and you have to click on that folder again same you have to copy this link and again you have to open environment variable here path and here again you have to paste your link i guess i have not click on ok when i have just a second i'll copy once again where it was it was in c drive programs java and 1.8 and bin you have to give bin folder path means you have to set bin folder path then here path i guess where it is going just a second okay and okay and again you need path of this your java pro you need to copy this again you need to go to environment variable account and here you have to paste it to click okay click okay and now here i'm using notepad notepad plus plus here firstly uh, you need to create a class then uh, you need to give your game name for a class i'll just say my example uh, this is the basic syntax which you need to keep in your mind and here it's public static we have to declare main method this syntax is mandatory for each and every program so just learn it i have already explained in my previous video that what is public what is static what is void what is main and what is string arguments so basically here i'll just print one message on the screen for that we need to use system.out.println and here i'll just write hello hello this is my this is my first java program and don't forget to give some a column now here you need to copy this file as our file name will be same as that of class name class name in which we have included our main method and now we will keep this into our folder which we have created and here we'll keep java my example dot java extension will be dot java okay now you need to again open command prompt and here you, you need to give path uh, where the java folder is there it is in cd i guess cd documents cd means it is change directory one second hmm. and again you need to cd java i guess what we have named java pro and here for compile you need to give java c for compilation and your file name that is my example dot java and it has successfully compiled for running java program you need to give java my example just learn these commands these are really very important now enter see hi this is my first java program so in this way we have did successful execution of program so uh, here we are using notepad plus plus from our next videos we'll try to use uh, visual studio code so thank you if you liked our video then please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you